Hello and welcome to this series of tutorials all about using Pixelmator. I'm going to be using version 2.2 or the Blueberry version and here's the home page. You can see got some very nice effects going on there. Very pretty girl as well. One thing with this, I'll be using family photographs. I won't be using stock footage of really beautiful, interesting people doing really beautiful, interesting things. OK, these are going to be normal photographs. If I can't tell you how to improve your photographs, I've got no business being here. But if you haven't brought it already, you probably have. Head over to the iTunes store. Take a look at it. It costs pennies. It is really, really cheap and you can do a lot of things with it. It's also quite easy to throw the kitchen sink at all your photographs and end up with a little bit of a mess. The point of these tutorials is to guide you through a series of images and show you how you can enhance your photographs. OK, I've just bought Pixelmator. I've installed it on my system. I am ready to go. Now I'm going to load up a file and while I'm loading it up, can you hear that sound, that creaking sound in the background? That is me getting on my bended knees, begging you not to do what I am about to do. Now, I'm going to bring this. Now, because I'm using screen recording software, I've reduced my screen size. So I need to find a way to watch this whole image. So I'll come to my magnifying glass down here. Come up to the top left corner where there's got that little cog icon and come to zoom to fit. And now I'm going to need a couple of windows. So I'm going to come to view, come down and I want to see show layers. You'll be using these a lot. Also, I want view, show, effects. You'll be using these a lot as well. Let's get started. Right, now taking a look at this image, uh, it's looking very washed out. It's looking a little bit green as well. So I need to try and correct this. Now, I'm at the effects browser and I'm going to click here where it says stylize. And here I've got a whole series of things I can do. So I want to come to color adjustments. All right. Oh, and what do you know? The thing here called auto enhance. Well, if the computer can do it, that must be good. See what I just did there? Click on any one of these, drag them over to the image, let go and works it out and bang. Wow. Huge difference there. OK, so what else can I do with this? Well, I've seen all the fancy effects that you can do with this, so I want to do some of those. They look really cool. So I'm going to come down to Stylize. Let's try Vintage. Make it look a little bit old fashioned. Let go. And I've got a whole load of choices here of things that I can do. It's making it look really old fashioned. All right, I'll go with, oh, not sure. Let's try that one. Yeah, that looks nice. And Saturation, let's. Let's bring that up a little bit as well. Yeah, OK, that's looking good there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. What else can I do with it? Light leak. I've seen them use this all the time. So let's try that. Oh, wow, looking good, looking good. All right, and I can move this around here as well. Move the effect. I can make it bigger. I'm going to get really sunny. And OK, well, let's try that then. All right, now what else have we got? Let's try. Let's take a look at generator. All right. Oh, look at this halo. Try that. Wow. Look at that. My little angel with a halo there. And I can change the radius of it and how wide it is. I'll go with that. And there you go. A work of art. See, I'm a born artist with this program. It helps me to realize my full artistic potential. OK, I'm going to save this. Save and. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. OK, I click on save. There you go. Then my other half comes along and says, what have you done? Well, I've, look at it. I've created this beautiful image using Pixelmator. And then my partner says to me, change it back again. I, I don't like that at all. And I said, well, I, well, I can't do that because I've already saved it and I've downloaded them off the camera and they're all like that. I mean, I was, hey, I was having fun. This picture is a mess. Look at it. It's completely overblown. I've thrown the entire kitchen sink at this. I can't bring it back because I've already overwritten it. Well, no, that's not true. OK, if I come here, if I take a look on my hard drive and I take a look at photos. Take a look here. Now, I created this in this folder here and 
thankfully, it hasn't overwritten my copy. It's, it's been very nice to me. It's saved me from myself. I still have the original file. I can still do things with this and hopefully make the photograph better. The first thing you want to do is to make a copy of this image and work on the copy so you can always refer back to the original image and see whether you're actually making things better or worse. We do this up here in the layers palette. So come down to the little cog and where it says duplicate layer, duplicate the layer. And we're going to rename it. We're going to call this base. We can call it other things as well, but that'll do for now. And then come back to the little cog and group layers. Now I've got a folder there called group and I'm going to call that fix. Any layers I do create are all going to be inside the fix folder so that at any time I can hide the folder and anything else inside it and look back at my original file. Always important to do. If you're going to do any cropping and rotating, now's the time to do it. I'll explain why. Come back to my base layer. I'll show you the way not to do it first. Let's see where our crop tool. Well, it could do with a bit of cropping. Let's click on the top right, come down to the bottom left. And I'm going to hold down my shift key as well, because I want to make sure I don't get any kind of strange narrow pictures like that, which might be a bit tricky for a printer to print out. So come back to the outside edges of the image, hold down shift, bring it in, move it around. Oh, let's see what we've got. And do that. And click enter to commit to it. And then we're going to rotate. Now, rotate is actually a bit hidden. It's inside edit, transform, not rotate 180 or 90 or 90 left, transform. Now come up to the top there. I want this to rotate slightly forward, so it looks a little bit more curled up. So I'm going to take that to there. OK, about, what, six degrees? Yeah, that seems nice. Hit Enter. Now I've got a problem. See there? That funny grey and white checkerboard? That's empty space. That's transparent. I don't want it printing out with transparent areas, so I'm going to have to come back here and crop again. So let's come back into it, get rid of all that empty space there, come to there. Come to there. But you, you see my problem now. In order to do that, I've got to crop into the actual baby itself. And that's not a good idea. Let's take a look at that. No, that's bad. Always rotate before you crop. If you crop to a nice tight image and then you have to rotate, you're going to end up having to crop all over again once you've rotated and get these kind of errors. Undo crop. And also undo transform. Anything else to undo? Yeah, undo crop again. There, there's our image. Now, come back to transform. Was it about six degrees I did? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go for six. And hit enter to commit that. And then we're going to go to crop. See if we get any more luck this time. Drag out a rectangle. Bring it in there. Bring it in there. Yeah, getting much better results now. Instantly, when you're doing the crop, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but you're going to get two lines going across and two lines going down. That's called the rule of thirds. The theory being, you try and get your picture so that important things like people's faces, always the most important part of a picture, are roughly on the third line markers. If a baby, if that if that baby's bang in the center, it looks a little bit boring. Let's take it off to one side a little bit. Make things look just a little bit more interesting and get to about there. OK, so we've rotated first, we're cropped. Now we're ready to go on to various color changes. OK, forget auto enhance for now. The one I'm interested in. Well, let's go through them. Brightness. That adjusts your overall brightness and your contrast. It's a quick and dirty way of doing it. You've got two different controls. Not really interested in that one. The one I'm interested in for now is this one, levels. So I'm going to take that, drop it onto my image. And what have we got here? Now, this image is a very grayed out image. There's no white in there and there's very little black at all. And you can see on this graph here, if I come here, that is a list of all my dark to light pixels. 
blue pixels, green pixels, red pixels, the amount there are there. And you can see there's no light color pixels. If this is white and this is all your light colors, we've got to go all the way down to here before we see anything at all. All right, well, let's correct it. I'm going to move this towards those curves. And as I do, you can see the image is getting lighter. That's one thing we want. Similarly with this, that's black. And then these are all your dark colors getting up towards the mid colors around here. There's hardly any of those. So let's move this up to get a bit more contrast. Now what I've got is some more contrast. And this thing in the middle, if I move it around, I can adjust the overall brightness and darkness within those new limits. I'll go with about, maybe get a little bit more dark in there. Now, anything on the left of this line is now black. You can see this is our new black here. I'll go with that. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.